this is Jimmy from 1015 Studios, and today we're going to be flying this, the DJI FPV drone, with this, the DJI Motion Controller. DJI made this controller, innovative controller, if, if I might say that, which allows you to control this drone with the motions of your hand. So it simplifies the dual stick control that it, most people are used to with the, with the normal controller, whether you're flying FPV or standard controllers. So we're going to test this out, see how it goes, get some footage and discuss some of the limitations that this, controlling this, with, for this. So in, the, in the, the goggles, you can't see it, but there's a box. So normally you kind of hold it in the center of that box and, there's, and it shows an unlock. So in order to engage that, you press the uh, red button twice, which engages the motors, right? And you can see the motors. And then after that, I hold the, uh, the red button, right? I hold it. And now we're up. Depending on how I turn my wrist, this thing moves around. Yeah. Right? Now, if I want to go forward, what I do is I press the trigger and you go forward. You tilt it up, it goes up. You tilt it down, it goes down. And if I want to turn it back to me, brake, and then move forward. All right. I'm going to come this way back to where our direction, okay? All right. And that's, that's the motion, okay? So on the controller though, this is your mode button and this is your brake button. So this brake button is, it says it right there, brake, stops all motion. So right now I can do all crazy type of things and then nothing's happening, see that? But then as soon as I hit the brake button again, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yes, it follows my motions, right? As long as I don't press the trigger, it doesn't go anywhere. But then if I turn and I want to shoot up. So right now, if I, let me check what mode I am in. I'm in the mode that they call, this is normal mode, right? So normal mode, right? Which is limited the, on the slowest speed right now. Okay? So if I want to change the mode, I just hit the M button and then it changes into sport mode, which is, enables it to go up to 60 miles an hour plus in that motion. And you can, and it, once you start doing it, it starts banking and turning, All right? So we're gonna get some footage and I'm gonna let you know what I think about it. For those of you who was wondering, those first shots right there was uh, in, the, in the normal color profile, so I switched it to uh, D-Cine-like, which is the you would use for color grading and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, just, uh, so you can see it's really, it's following my hand pretty well. It's, and depending on how much you turn, it will determine that the motion that, so you can turn more abruptly and kind of do like that or uh, slightly like how I do it so you can get a nice cinematic motion. Um, now I can tell you one thing, depending on how um, jittery you are with your motions, it, it will show up, at least I see it from the goggles, right? How much it shows up in terms of the motion. So you kind of have to hold it and not fidget too much. And once you commit to a motion, kind of stick with it in order to get um, a nice 
clean move. So we're here. So coming up here and then see here right here. Turn around. Now one limitation that I can tell you right off the bat is that with the with the normal controller, um, you can kind of orbit around an object, right? With this one, it's pretty much a forward type of motion, right? I mean, you can pivot and turn around in place. However, um, when you're flying, you can't go sideways or in reverse, right? It's simply just a forward type of motion. Um, yeah. I'm at 54% battery, so uh, batteries, uh, like I said before in the previous video, if you were planning to get more, flying more, you should get more because these batteries go by quick. right there coming over the top and then let's see how I do when I dive down right here nice nice motion and I'm right, gonna come over the top come up and then over there we go, and we really nice, see a nice reveal. There we are. I'm gonna come back around. Turn around. Right, here we go. Are you ready, Jason? Here we go. Let me line this thing up. Here we go. You hear that? percent so at about 25 percent that's when the uh, re RTH return to home uh, starts to engage and then we go right here so it's pretty uh, sensitive to your movements I feel it's pretty good so there is one thing though now if you intend to uh, I'm gonna stop recording here if you intend to hand launch or hand catch there, it is a little bit problematic because you can't back it up to where you are at. It has, can only go forward, right? So you'd have to turn it. Here, see, you watch, the, watch me in the drone, Jason. So, so if I go forward, so I gotta move it towards me. Now right here, we, we don't necessarily need to, uh, I'm gonna change it back to the normal mode because right now it's in sport mode, right? All right. So right now I put it in brake. So now if I wanted to uh, hand catch, follow me. The shut off procedure is to hold down the red button and it'll come down. However, if you're in like a windy area or if your situation is moving, if you're on a boat or something, I wouldn't recommend using this. I would recommend you staying with the, uh, staying with the normal controller so you can fine tune it to get it to your hand. But since we're here and it's not moving, and we're not moving, so it's pretty easy. So you can hand catch this, right? So right now I'm gonna turn off the, the brake button, right? We're here, I'm gonna come under it. Make sure that when you come over, you don't come under the sensor, which is in the front, because it'll take off as you do that, right? So right here, I'm gonna hit the red button. I'm gonna to come to the, to the rear of it, where the battery is, right here. It's kinda of moving a little bit. And, and that's how you hand catch or, or hand launch using the motion controller, right? Because this is something I was trying to figure out. I was like, how do I do this safely and not like kill myself or anybody else? So with that being said, because I, you can't move it, you, you kind of have to come to it where it is and then move it in place. Um, I, I, don't, I can't see myself recommending this where if you're in a position where you're in highly windy situations, or if for some reason that whatever you're on is moving 
or a conjunction like a boat or a car or whatever. Um, or if you're on like a, uh, you know, like near the beach where it's very windy, this may push it and you're trying to adjust it and move it back and then coming back, it may be kind of problematic. But however, outside of that, I really like this. I think this is really cool. So um, I can show you in the reverse since we, we, uh, we flew it um, from, the, from the ground. So the way you hand launch is very similar. So you double press the red button right here to engage the motor. So you go here, so it's a, right there. And then you press hold it again and it'll take off. Right there. And you walk away. So that's where it stays, because it stays about a, about a, a meter and a half off the ground, right? And if you want to take off, right? I just point, so point up and it goes up, right? And if I point down like this, it'll go down. So you, let's see how fast, if you can track how fast it goes up, right? Jason, can you, you want to back up to see how fast it goes? Because it goes fast. I'm going to change the mode. You ready? You see it? Okay, ready? Uh, and it's pretty fast. So I that's about 247 feet from where we were at. So let's bring it down. So right now it's doing an RTH right now because it's below the. So I'm going to cancel this. All right. All right, and then we'll just bring it down by itself. Let it do its thing. Yeah, come in, come in, check it out. And, and that's how it lands by itself. So that's a uh, full demonstration of the uh, motion controller. So I think it has its place and it's very good. However, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would completely abandon the other, uh, the controller itself. I think this has its time and place, especially if you're trying to just consistently chase something. However, you, you do give up some functionality for ease of use, because honestly, there's, doing this is, there, it's just, you don't even have to think about it, right? It just, it's intuitive, as opposed to using uh, sport mode, or if you're flying normal drones, or if you plan to go full, uh, acro or the manual mode then that's a whole different game right which i'm still working on so anyway that's a demonstration of the dji motion controller